understand abhyasa means creating positive habits positive things inside you so that it can go from conscious to unconscious from unconscious to your body making all the good things as part of your life is what i call abhyasaha patanjali very beautifully says i just wanted to repeat that word tatra sthitau yatno abhyasaha the effort to remain remain constantly in that elevated state of awareness is abhyasaha understand many time when you listen all these words you get completely inspired i have decided from tomorrow i am not going to miss nitya dhyan and you buy nitya dhyan cd dvd acd <laughs> audio cd book sometime i have seen husband will buy one set and wife will buy one set or will say no 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 if you are reading that book in that page i don't want to interfere you i want my own set and all kinds of things and everything is ready except you <laughs> except you in the initial level you need to go to a spiritual place i can say this is a positive pub where you see the body language of the people who drink divine who drank the divine who are enjoying who are radiating it who are dancing with it who are living it you need to see their body language you yourself need to be in that space you need to be encouraged you need that positive abhyasa he says effort to remain constantly in that elevated state of awareness the big problem is your body is unconscious it has learnt many habits earlier for so many years so when you suddenly experience some higher truths one glimpse one strong experience but your brain grooves are not habituated to hold on to that experience or to hold on to that high state of consciousness your brain you are the brain grooves are created only in a usual unconscious way so what happens you come down when i had my enlightenment at the age of 12 it did not stay with me i was not in that same state in the 3 days it disappeared It was such a big missing, unimaginable missing. Understand? Unimaginable missing. Till yesterday, you know you are God, and suddenly now you are back. How it will be? See, if you don't know you are God, you are you are a consciousness, you are an enlightened soul. you know at least this is what you just put up with it live with it okay but you know it and suddenly your body is not ready to live that that is the worst missing can happen when i went back i was pouring because it was like a two and a half days bliss fever two and a half days bliss fever at the age of 12 i had that strong experience feeling everything is me understand you feeling that you are alive inside one body gives you so much of joy i started feeling in, i am alive in everything the tree in the plant in the stones in the hill in the temple everything in the air in the sky how strongly you feel you are alive inside this skin your skin i started feeling with that same strength i am alive inside this pillow inside this seat everything for such a joy ecstasy liberation no fear nothing to lose nothing to gain nothing to lose that is why there is nobody who is my favorite because i am in just inside that body just i am inside this body i am inside that body there is no favorite 
just before coming to USA, one of my new brahmachari, new guy who came to the ashram, I was giving little attention to him and teaching him and every day I will just at least spend 10 minutes with him asking how are you, are you feeling comfortable, you are settled and all those things. When I was coming to the USA, he asked me, Swamiji will you forget me? I just laughed and said, I never remembered you, relax about forgetting. <laughs> there is no favorite. There is no favorite. If I am giving attention to somebody, if I am standing and talking, at the most, the possibility for the spiritual growth is there. That's all. The possibility for the spiritual explosion is there. Sometimes people are stuck in some places, you see. They will have very strong spiritual pull. They will, they will not even know it's a spiritual pull. Just suddenly they know. Inside the heart, just they keep myself and enjoy. And inside the heart, when they remember me, there's a twinkle in the eyes. When they see, there's a twinkle in the eyes, the corner of the eyes. Just it is such a pleasant feeling. I am there, inside. Maybe in the waking state, or in the dream state, or in the deep sleep state, I am there. Same way, the other part of the mind, the negative abhyasa, it will create all kinds of fear and questions and apprehensions. Either judging about me, or the community around, or some situation. See, the negative abhyasa is so powerful, it can show anything into negative. It can show anything into negative. I have seen people suffering with that negative abhyasa, negative conditioning. And that negative conditioning is such, it can create any problem out of any problem. Mind can play any game. The negative abhyasa, one side, that beautiful feeling connection is also there. The other side, the negative abhyasa, the negative apprehensions. That is also there. That is creating some questions, some constant. You see, negative abhyasa will constantly make you think. What is this? What is that? What is this? What is that? What is this? What is that? Constantly think. Sometimes when people are stuck in that level, that place, I just out of compassion, I give them little attention. How do you feel? Are you okay? Because little attention, they can just come out of that negative apprehension, negative abhyasa. It can be broken. The master's love is such a Amazing energy, nothing needs to be done, one smile, one word. Are you comfortable? Are you settled? That's enough. It can just work inside. The negative abhyasa can be just, can, will just lose its power over you. I have seen. That is the only purpose or only reason. Sometimes rarely I give attention. Otherwise there is no, because I know completely I am feeling everything. This fight between the negative abhyasa and the feeling connection you feel is the worst thing. I can say in a way it is the best thing because you have to go through. Sometimes the negative abhyasa wins and they escape. What to do? Maybe few years will be wasted or sometimes even few lives will be wasted. When they come again, after a few years, after a few life, either I may not be there or they may not be in the situation to be around me or I may be there, they may be there, the click may not happen or both may be there, click may happen but the place may not be proper. So many things. So I always tell people, don't miss. I have seen People missing in the initial level many times. Just they will say, simple reason. No, 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 I don't have hot water here. I can't stay. In the ashram, I have seen. The Bridhi ashram, just because they don't have hot water, they will say, no, after uh, you, by one year, you will have hot water and all the facilities. We will come back and stay at that time. They will go. It will never happen again. Over. Just because there is no hot water. They escape. They are in the Help, help, what to do? <laughs> Nothing can be done. The negative abhyasa is so powerful, 
it is such a strong thing any positive glimpse it will shake let me give you a experience about my own negative abhyasa i think that will give you a opening when i had this enlightenment experience it, was, it completely shook me shook me all my ideas about enlightenment disappeared just like when you meet me all your ideas about enlightened master will disappear i'll be mind boggling you can't comprehend if you are fortunate if you just see me in a class and go away no really if you spend little time around me all your ideas about enlightened master will disappear so alive so spontaneous unimaginable unable to put inside your frame you will feel shaken all my ideas about enlightenment disappear and i was there in that field in that field filled maybe it took two and a half years two and a half hours sorry two and a half days it is neither two and a half hours nor two and a half years it looked like a two and a half hours or two and a half years it's chronologically two and a half days when i started settling first thing happened to me i thought some ghost has possessed me because i never knew about enlightenment that enlightenment will be like this some ghost because the negative abhyasa starts taking over negative abhyasa is taking over the mental groove is not able to hold that experience so negative abhyasa is taking over the other side my mind started telling don't go to that place again i started thinking that place there is some ghost because i went and sat there that ghost got hold of me and i should never go to that place again and that is the way i am supposed to go to my school every day i'll never go that way after that it took 6 month to go near that place for me started the negative abhyasa eh? taking over not only that i started feeling all kinds of things i think there was one swami who was teaching me yoga and another one swami was teaching vedanta i thought who knows what these guys are teaching me and where i am landing what will happen to me all kinds of apprehension all kinds of fear and it is not standing staying when i went back and asked that mata ji one mata ji was there she was teaching me little tantra and vedanta i asked her this what happened is am i possessed by ghost she laughed and said you are possessed by god and she all she told me just be around me for few days nothing else and she said i'll cook and give you the food eat and be around me i asked how can that help you just be there nothing else but just eating that food and being around her suddenly i saw my body is picking up the courage to live that enlightenment my brain is creating new grooves to live that enlightenment my system is falling in tune to live that enlightenment to live that joy to radiate that joy i suddenly started feeling i have a company i have company there are many people who lived what i am living who went through what i am going through you feel comfortable you are not alone that statement can be given only by sangha never by even not even by buddha please understand even i cannot give you that courage only sangha can give you that courage if i say then you will say no 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 you are enlightened you are in a different plane don't compare you and us you have all kinds of ideas no sangha can give you that courage sangha can give you that confidence sangha can create that new brain grooves where positive abhyasa can happen you can be again and again and again in that elevated consciousness joy ecstasy bliss you can raise yourself not only for spiritual enlightenment even to live an integrated happy life you need abhyasa you need abhyasa even to live a happy life 
I am not talking about enlightened life. Even to live a happy life, you need Abhyasa. Because constantly, so many cyclones are happening inside you. Actually, just like a CNN weather channel, you need an internal weather channel. Today, there may be three tornado, two tsunami, <laughs> ten year quack. <laughs> that is what is happening inside. Look, how many tsunamis, how many earthquakes, how many Katrinas, how many tornadoes happening constantly. You need positive abhyasa to handle even this weather, even these tornadoes. Positive Abhyasa is a safe shelter where you are neither touched nor affected by these tornadoes, by these tsunamis, by these earthquakes, by these floods, by these disturbances, by these difficulties. You need to know the Abhyasa is the ultimate shelter and resort you can create for yourself. The positive Abhyasa is the ultimate shelter, ultimate resort you can create for yourself. That's the ultimate truth can happen to you. Please understand. When I went back to the master, all he said, I asked him, first thing, I had the fear. I thought I was possessed by a ghost. This Mataji, she told me, no, you are not possessed by a ghost, you are possessed by God. And she gave me the courage after a few days. That fear went away. What happened to me was wrong. That fear went away. Now the greed started. Oh God, it went away. How can I have it back? I rushed to this one great Swami, Annamalai Swami. He is an enlightened disciple of Raman Maharishi. He told me only one word. This Sutra. Essence of this Sutra. Abhyasa. Bring yourself back to that same mood, same space, again and again and again. Let your body be soaked. Let your body be processed by that consciousness. He told me, let it be cooked by that consciousness. Bring yourself back again and again and again to that same state. Either by studying, or by listening, or by remembering, or by meditating, whatever it takes. Sometimes remembering will work. Suddenly, nothing need to be done. Just the photograph of the master is enough. You are in tears. You don't know why. You are just completely relaxed. You are in ecstasy. Sometimes, Talking to brother disciple, talking to somebody who had the experience, who is in the Sangha, who is experienced or a little more senior, sometime reading the books, sometime listening to the words, or using all, any one or more than one or all, use any of this. And raise yourself again and again and again to that same state. 